Welcome back to the Contributor Corner for Run Radio. Today, our guest, our expert is Alex De Luca from Italian Kitchen. What kind of insight do you have for us today? Oh, today we're talking about something fun, like coffee. That's so, fun. Yes, I'm hearing a bunch of people going to Italy, coming back from Italy, and there are a lot of uh, coffee shops everywhere in Springfield. I mean, they're coming everywhere and everywhere you go, coffee is becoming more and more a cultural thing. And so we, unfortunately, we dis- I mean, we started using coffee thousands, I mean, years ago, many years ago. And so we developed an uh, etiquette for coffee that is good to know if you are one of those nice persons who's going to travel abroad and don't want to have a bad experience. Yes, it is. Okay, so, so what do we need to do when we order coffee? Well, the, first, exa- the first thing you need to know is what you call in the U.S. coffee shop, we call bar. So okay. don't get weirded out as a friend of a guide or someone is telling you, oh, let's go to the bar. Because he's not inviting you to get drunk, but this guy probably is going to invite you to get a coffee. Oh, and so okay. For us, a bar is a place where you can have, it's a half of a coffee shop and half of an alcohol shop. But nobody okay. goes to the bar to get drunk. You normally go to the bar to, I mean, in, during the morning, you get coffee and something else. In the afternoon, you can get an aperitivo. There is nothing more than alcoholic beverage with something to eat that is normally used as savory. But that's what you do. So coffee shop, that are pretty much anywhere, one every corner, and it's even normal, especially, for example, in November, I'm going to Italy, I'm going to meet people on the street. The first two or three days, I will go home shaking because every single one I say, oh, man, I didn't see you in a while. Let's go get a coffee. And it's, you cannot say no. And so you go <laughs> get a coffee. The fourth espresso, you're just like, oh, my goodness, I'm shaking. So this is the first thing. Don't get weirded out if you are asking, you're invited to a, to a bar. The second thing, there is an etiquette on how to drink the coffee. They normally give you the little cup with your coffee. There is normally an espresso because that's the standard. And we will go, we'll cover that in a second. And they give you a small glass with water. Okay. The etiquette tells you that you need to drink that water before the coffee. Because the water will cleanse your palate and also will put some kind of lining in your stomach before a harsh coffee. If you don't drink the water before, please don't drink the water at all. Because if you drink the water at the end of your coffee, you are insulting the barman that they made your coffee for you because you're saying this coffee was bad. I need something to drink to clean my palate. Oh, no. And I guess you also shouldn't pour them together either, huh? <laughs> oh, 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 no, 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 oh, 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 no. Unless you ask for something with a hot water on the side, but at that point is a hot water. Okay? Got it. It's getting kind of weird. There are many people asking for very, very, very crazy coffee to the point that it's getting kind of, you know, just like going to Starbucks and order something that you don't know is the person. It was a joke that I heard and pretty funny that the person in front of me, I don't know if he's ordering coffee or making a sorcery. <laughs> you have no idea. Yeah. So, by the way, so first thing, the water. That's wow. it. The second thing is uh, espresso. The name comes from the fact that it's taken out, it's pulled out, it's pushed out from the thing. It comes from Italian esprimere and not because it's fast, not because they give you fast. The other information that you need to know is about Coffee is a base. The standard, as I said, is a, is a normal coffee. They give you, you ask for a coffee, they give you an espresso. But you can make changes on that. You can have something that is smaller than an espresso that is called ristretto. And it's literally a few drops of coffee that can make a, a hole in your tongue. My dad was, I mean, seriously, was getting the most ristretto thing ever. If he, I, I don't know if he had more than three drops of coffee and everything. It was calling for a super restraint. Or like my mother, you ask for a lung. This means that they let the machine percolate longer. And so you get a coffee that is longer and is not as strong in taste. It's not bitter, it's a little bit more complete. Would or, that be would that be more what most of us would expect to have, or is there something else? No. 
if you are American, you ask for an Americano. Okay. They <laughs> normally give you a, co- a long coffee, a caffè lungo, in a big cup with hot water on the side. So you can add the water oh. to make it mellow. Okay. And actually, I was reading the other day, that's an invention that we hit during World War II because we had a bunch of American soldiers and they were not used to our strong coffee. And oh. so they came up with this idea to make lighter the coffee that we normally make so they could drink it. Or there are the fun ways. So there are the Cafe Corretto. There is something popular in the Veneto and Venetia area that means you cut the coffee with something alcoholic. Oh, There can be Sambuca, it can be Grappa, it can be anything more than, you know, 25 uh, alcohol proof is good to go. And as I said, they have that stuff in the morning. So you go to the bar, you are there drinking your little coffee and the guy in front of you asks for something for Retto Grappa. You see a cup of coffee, half grappa, half coffee, and the guy walks straight out the door. He say, okay, you have some kind of, you know, you develop some kind of resistance to that thing because I will just go back to bed I mean, after that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. The other thing that is very important. Okay. So if you are American, you land in Italy because you're on a cruise or you get to the airport, you're in Milan or Torino or Rome, and you say, oh man, I'm in the land, I want a coffee, and it's past 11, please, never, ever, 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 to save whatever is most important in your life, don't ask for a cappuccino. A cappuccino is a A no-no? No, it's a no-no after 11, because yes, the milk is considered breakfast. Really? so... Yes. So, so it's like going to McDonald's and asking for the uh, egg sandwich at uh, noon or one. They're going to be mad. <laughs> it's not. It's worse. It's worse? just like going to McDonald's at eight and ask for a beer. Oh, it, goodness. That, as, how bad it is. That's, that's as bad it is. Also, uh, many people don't know, but uh, cappuccino is just a version of that kind of mixture between coffee and uh, milk okay. you know we have a thing that is called latte macchiato whose name has been stolen by starbucks to make it something that is totally different because latte macchiato is nothing more than a glass of water a glass of milk with literally a couple of drops of coffee and so it gets dirty macchiato with coffee and that's oh. what normally kids drink if you are breakfast with all your family in a bar the kids normally get the latte macchiato. Okay? Oh. But also, going on shades, you get the cappuccino that is pretty pale and whose name comes from the monks, literally the monks, because that coffee is the same color of the monk suit. But then you go to something that is darker, that has more coffee and less um, milk that is called marocchino. Okay. If you know- if you know what to order, Marocchino is even better than a cappuccino because they normally put some chocolate ganache inside the cup before pouring the coffee. Okay. Yes. Yes. So some good education for Americans trying coffee in Italy. <laughs> Thank you very much. Learn more about Italian Kitchen and Alex's wisdom at runradio.net.